Do 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 do. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Back on the Vortex server for another episode today. And what's this sand? Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are in a brand new area today. Uh, you noticed the lack of videos from here probably, and that is because. Mm, slightly burnt out on the castle right now. I mean, not fully, like, I still will do some work on it from time to time, but not really getting that much done. So, I decided, why not do something else, another idea that came to mind, so that I can have something going on here while I'm kind of taking a break from that castle, even though I haven't really built too much of it yet. So, I figured, let's do a PvP arena, because these things are pretty community oriented which is what I like about them and yeah I kinda had a big interest to do this and I figured why not I have the opportunity now that uh slightly burnt out let's go for it so right now this doesn't really have anything to do with the theme of the PvP it's not an arena well it's kind of an arena more or less trying to make like a little map or something, like something you would see in Call of Duty. It's not going to be very big, pretty basic. And yeah, just using some pretty basic builds in here probably. Not going to be a castle or anything. And yeah, so it's going to be desert themed, sandstone, smooth Sandstone is probably going to be my main block that I use while building this. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Oh, darn, need to clear out one more row here. But we can do that. Can't we? Yes, we can. So we have this shovel. Although, I went through these two picks pretty much. The Obsidian Mart Company Tool, which I wasn't too happy about because... I mean, it's named, so it won't be that hard to repair, but I don't really want to repair it because I'm lazy. Alright, let's just turn this into some of these. And give it a run through there. Grab a bit more sand. Get ten more blocks. Don't think this will be enough. But if you haven't noticed, this was a large area to clear out. That's another part of the reason why I haven't been posting videos, because I had to clear out this gigantic area, and it's hard to do when... I'll grab it from this chest. I'd rather do that. Because I am... I only need one. Wow. There we go. Yeah, so I had to clear this gigantic area out, and that took quite a while if you couldn't guess that so mm -hmm. yeah tore through a bunch of picks and shovels so yeah what we're gonna do now is if you can't if you can see I've kind of I'm missing some like the stairs this is the design that I want to do and it's gonna go up two layers except for I think on this side I'm going to do it, where there's going to be like a little opening box where you can kind of spectate after you die, because it is going to be kind of like a, uh, you die, you're done until the next round thing. I might make it capture the flag, I'm not 100% sure. Is that the right way? It is. I'm a genius, if you didn't know that. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Oh, man phone be buzzing in the background hmm yeah I'll just do this there and there fix that later it's getting to be nighttime let's go sleep before anything spawns okay there we go so hey like I said the wall doesn't have anything to do in specific with the actual map I just needed a wall for it and I figured why not do this it looks pretty cool so yeah probably 
I definitely could have done something a bit more relevant to the map. That might have been cooler, but kind of committed to this. I really like the design, so we're going with it. Go. And I know DH would be proud because I'm using buttons. Ha. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So, yeah, let me talk to you guys a bit. Um. Yeah. So UHC, yeah, I'll talk about that. Oh, dang it, that's the wrong way. UHC Vortex Season 2 is finally... Well, not finally, because it wasn't very long of a wait. But I was waiting to play uh, again, because I wanted to do way better the f than the first one. And you've seen by now, I survived more than two episodes. So that is an improvement, believe it or not. Which is pretty pathetic, the fact that that is considered an improvement. Simply surviving more than two episodes. But whatever. We all have bad games sometimes. And, yeah, keep watching this one. It gets, it gets pretty exciting. It's I had a lot of fun. Lars was a ton of fun to play with. Haven't really done too much with him before, so... It's nice to kind of get to talk to him one on one, and yeah. So keep watching that. It's uh, like I said, pretty interesting season. Keep watching to find out what happens. See how my fate turns out. Will I win? Will I not win? Go watch and find out. <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is hmm, what was forgetting what I was going to say, but series on my channel, so as of right now, I'm not sure if I would have released it t earlier, like today, yesterday, sometime, but I have started a map making series, might be out tomorrow for all I know, so I'm that good with keeping a schedule, but yeah, I've started a map making series. And let me talk to you guys about that for a bit here. Map making always interested me. I've made the one map that I've ever really completed. Well, not, I wouldn't even call it complete though because I only completed one part of it and it, I never even thought to release it to the public or anything. But it was a PvP map which. I built, and this was quite a while ago, and the only person who I really played with back when I released it was Austin, because, yeah, I didn't, hmm, let's mark these out, yeah, I didn't really know any other people who played, and I wasn't really playing with them, like, the browsing guys, I didn't play with them too much back then, other than some survival games before any of us had channels, so, oh, Dang it, large tree. We'll cut it down anyways. Yeah. Meh. Break. There we go. Uh. I completely lost my train of thought. Okay. Small PvP map. So it was inspired by Sigils, a pretty small YouTuber. He's got, I think, 5,000 subs now. Maybe 8,000 or something. Somewhere around there. So not huge, but he's got a decent number. Like, I would I think anybody would be happy with that number. So, yeah, I, but this was back when he had around 2,000, maybe even less. Uh, I saw a video he posted on Reddit where he made, this is like back when Command Blocks first came out, he made a little PvP map that's now out on his uh, server vector sector and yeah it looked pretty cool it was just kind of a demo it never got released like I said it got turned into the vector sector it's a plug-in PvP thing now so yeah, it was like a little halo map but it used command blocks used a death counter actually yeah the death counter that it first implemented was actually not with command blocks it was really cool this is kind of what got me into some redstone it basically was a sand counter for every time you died, you would spawn in on a little pressure plate that would like 
take a sand block, and that sand block would fall and trigger a piece of redstone, which would then send something into a, uh, a bigger area that counted it as one point, basically, and when you got to, like, ten points, that would be ten deaths, so your team lost. So that was pretty darn cool, I thought, at the time. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to do this. So the first thing I did was I looked at his lobby that he had made for the uh, map. And I kind of used that as a guide to do for my lobby. So my lobby ended up being gigantic. And I had plans. And by the time I started making command blocks were out, they had a bunch of features. But, yeah, they kind of... It was huge, and I had plans for, I think, three or four game modes that I would have, I knew how to do. I think the hardest one would have been Capture the Flag, but I figured out how to do it somehow. And I don't cap, or no, it wasn't Capture the Flag, it was Capture Point. And I kind of thought up a really derpy, weird way to be able to do it. It was probably the least inefficient way ever, but it ended up working I never really got to make that part, and I wasn't even using MC Edit, which is my favorite tool nowadays for anything to do with building maps and stuff. So, yeah, I kind of just built this. The, I built uh, most of the redstone first, and then I built a little map, just a little basic map. Basically, I had four teams set up. Even though it was, ended up only being two people playing on the map. Because I'm so popular. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But, yeah, it was only two people. Because I don't have any other f friends, really, who play this game. So, yeah, we... Once I had built the actual map and gotten all the redstone hooked up to where it was at least playable. Uh, Austin and I gave it a test run. It ended up being quite a bit of fun, and I might try and that was on my old computer though so i don't have to save anymore unfortunately but yeah i might try to revive making something like that one day and i know he had a lot of fun because he actually joined me to help make some maps afterwards but yeah it was just this little floating temple thing that i built and it looked pretty oh thanks for the apple tree it looked pretty darn cool it it actually played really well like we had a pretty great time just derping around on it just two of us so with four people it probably would have been a very fun map to play but nonetheless that's gone now uh so yeah that's kind of my that was one of my first experiences with map making then there's been a couple times after that where because at the start of my channel i was my the first thing I wanted to do on my channel was actually play through all of Vex super hostile maps, beat every single one of them. And I kind of scrapped that idea after trying to play and record one because I just couldn't do it. It was Sea of Flame, Austin and I did it a while ago, and we got through a little bit, but we just weren't having that great of a time. So then I started looking to other maps because I figured... Maybe Vex maps are just harder, which is not the case. Other maps are 20 times harder. So, I looked to other maps, and I found one on the Minecraft Maps Reddit, and it was asking for new people to kind of beta test this CTM map. So I said, yes, let's do it. And this was way back at the beginning of my channel. I doubt any of you remember this, but uh, Arcelia Caverns, I think it was. It was... Basically, a UHC mode Minecraft CTM map, which was definitely an interesting concept, and I think it would be pretty cool, but, you know, that map was very difficult, just the first part, I couldn't get past beating it, spent, I think, three episodes just running into the same area, dying, running into the same area, dying, that wasn't that fun. Then came around, yeah, after that... That's the map that inspired me to start making CTM maps. And right now, I'm actually, the one that I'm working on is my first one that I plan on finishing. Because the first one that I made was Derpy MC Editing. 
Actually, I don't even know if I used MC Edit. It might have been World Edit. Even. So that's kind of how derp I was with mapping. And I... Let's sleep. Oh, it's not nighttime, I guess. Even though the sun is dark. The sun is dark. So yeah, that was kind of my first big experience with mapping. I... I used TNT to clear out a giant area, but now I can do that with MC Edit in 30 seconds. So, yeah, you can tell that I've, I mean, I haven't had all that much experience with mapping, but I really do enjoy doing it. So, if you if you want to see me kind of go through the process of making that map, go check it out. I'll be doing I'd say for the first couple weeks I'll be doing more videos on it than I will in the future. Just kind of showing you guys the basics of making it, but after that, it'll probably get pretty repetitive of me. Take circle, clear area, take circle, clear area. And I doubt that'll be too exciting footage to watch 10 times, so I can't expect I'll get many videos out of that series, but I mean, it's making a series on something is. It keeps me inspired to do it because I'm thinking like, okay, I already got this out there. I can't stop now. there will be disappointing people who want to see me finish this. And there's a big tree. I'll get that. And I know I could be working on the walls, but eh, let's chop down trees. <laughs> Such exciting video. So, yeah, that's kind of my whole mapping philosophy. And... Yeah, I'll, you, well, I guess there was the uh, Sky Wars map with Austin from Parazian too, but I think it's kind of a, between the both of us, we partially decided to, well, we had some plans for the first little bit, and then, I mean, I was supposed to do some MC editing, so it's really my fault for it here, but yeah, we. I kind of just got lazy. Didn't want to load up the world and MC edit. So, yeah, I ended up just we. Yeah, you know, we never really talked about it again. I mean, that that could come back. Sky Wars, as part of this uh big map series, like the PVP maps. But the one thing that I'm having trouble doing would be getting is the problem with that is you have to reset the map every time afterwards and the only way to do that is slash set block and I would have to do that for every single block and so that would be so tedious I wouldn't be able to do it so basically I'm thinking that map either I mean if I can figure out a way to do it there might be like a copy paste command that I don't know about in vanilla I I feel like they added one, but I'm not 100% sure. And if there is one, then yes, it's possible. If there is not, then that map will not be part of it. That will be released separately, most likely. Possibly, uh, given if it's good enough and qualifies, give it to a server or something and have them have it as one of their maps, which would be pretty cool. But, yeah, mapping... Stuff like that. I build maps for my build team as well. Uh, little self promotion there. And yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty decent builder. And the one big map, the one big map that my the team is uh, known for is cops and robbers. So yeah, that's. I mean, it's like the number one downloaded map on the Minecraft, or Planet Minecraft, which is pretty awesome. I wasn't on the team then, I joined more recently, uh, because I, there was a friend from another server who uh, is on the team, and he got me on there, which is pretty awesome. So I've been doing some maps for there as well, but don't really want to talk about those until they get released, and I'm finished up with them. But, yeah, so that's that's mapping in me. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say. Mapping in me. It's like Marley in me, but about making Minecraft maps. <laughs> I'm so weird. But, 
yeah, that's kind of, that's pr well, yeah, that's more or less it for mapping. Uh, I mean, that kind of relates to this, I guess, because this is, it's actually that build team kind of inspired me to do this with just builds I saw in there and other maps from like Gary's Mod and stuff. Just the, like, the stuff I play on there. I know those are from like Counter Strike, I believe. Most of the maps. So thanks, Counter Strike. Even though I've never played you, and I doubt I ever will. I just am not interested in them. I'm decently interested in first person shooter games, but I mean, Call of Duty always was my first choice for that. I'm starting to rethink it now. Because with Titanfall coming out, I'm not sure how that's going to be. I mean, seems like a lot of people who did the beta thing are really enjoying it. And, yeah, I don't really know if I'll like it, though. COD, Call of Duty, has really gotten boring for me over the years. Dang it. It seems like it's just the same thing over and over and over again with better graphics. Oh, we've got better graphics now. Great, they're too good. I'm sorry, but I don't want to see. Like that's just not what I look for. To be, that's to me. That's not what makes a game good. Is the graphics? I mean, it definitely is a pretty decent contributor. That was a terrible pronunciation of a word. I. Uh, it's a very big contributor, but at the same time, I'd rather have better gameplay features overall and kind of be be able to enjoy my experience rather of playing rather than being able to enjoy my experience of looking at the scenery and buildings around me so yeah that's I mean that's why I kind of am gonna go somewhat basic for this map because I don't care how amazing this map looks all i care is that we're gonna be able to play it we're gonna have a good time playing it so i think this video i don't know how long it's gonna be but it, i feel like it's kind of starting to get a bit rambly and long so I th yeah i'm gonna end it here two three four got a little bit more there to do <sighs> such good grammar me smart uh, we've got a little bit more to do on that side, and then we've just got to fill in this, and then do the second layer, which, it's a lot of wood, and that's one of the reasons why it took so long to come out with this video, because I've been collecting wood for days. I would have rather just, dang, I have too many of these saplings, uh, started collecting it and not built any, built it on camera, just so that I could have something to do, and then rinse repeat rinse repeat rinse repeat which is kind of what we did but we, we made it talky uh so that is gonna be it for this one as you can see still got a lot to do here before we can get building dang it that was skill yeah still got a lot to do before we can get to building the actual map i think this is gonna be a big enough area i mean i'm not 100 percent sure but it definitely can fit something if not yeah it'll be able to fit at least a couple buildings it's not supposed to be a huge map it's supposed to be one team spawns here one team spawns here and basically a couple sp uh, sniper spawns some close to close combat action kind of in the middle there maybe some buildings over here some over there or something not too close to the spawns or anything so that you don't get, uh, like, basically, I'll make it so that it's crowded enough that you can't just run straight line to the other team spawn. You've got to go, like, there, 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 to get there. So, that'll make it a bit more interesting. It'll, I'll have areas to promote both, uh, hand-to-hand -hand sword combat and some bow combat. Let's see if we can hit a button from here. Oh, that looks pretty close. Oh no, we were over it. Dang it, under it. 
Alright, these aren't wooden buttons, so we can't shoot them anyways. Oh, but we, we got it there. Oh, this is an infinity bow. I'm so smart, guys. So, yeah. It's gonna be a cool map. Can't wait to get to building it. Can't wait to get to playing it. But, start expecting some of those mapping things. That mapping series is gonna be a lot of fun to do. Hope you guys are enjoying that. If it's started yet, hope you guys are going to enjoy it if it hasn't. And, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more Vortex videos. If you want to see that mapping series. If you want to see anything else on my channel. If you just like me, then subscribe. You get to see more of me. And, yeah, that, that'll do it for this one. I will see you all next time. Bye.